everybody, it's Penny. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we have a super, super, super easy dessert. Anyone from nine to 99 can do this. And if, but if you are in the nine bracket, make sure you get permission from your parents to use the oven, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a recipe called five layer bars. Now this isn't my recipe, this is a recipe that I saw on YouTube with Paula Dean. And when I saw it, I thought, perfect, anyone can make this. So what we have first is one and a half cups of graham crackers and one cup of melted butter. So we're gonna put that together. And because there's so much butter in there, you don't even have to butter or grease your pan that you're using. So we're just gonna mix that all up and then we're gonna put it as our base in a nine by 13 pan. And the oven is preheated to 350. And of course I've washed my hands first. That's always rule number one. So it doesn't take long at all for those graham cracker crumbs and the butter to come together. So we're going to put this into our 9 by 13 pan. Lay that aside. We're going to spread it out in a nice thin layer, which just, you know, takes a minute because it's gooey, which is good. This whole recipe is going to be gooey, which is really good. a little bit off of my spatula. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect because of course it's going to be the bottom, the base of our squares or bars. Okay, all done. Now we just layer our five layers. So this is one cup of butterscotch chips. So you just sprinkle them around. And this is really, really decadent. So when we cut these into bars, we're not gonna cut them very big. But they're gonna be delicious. Lay this, oh, a mystery, there we go. And then you have two cups of chocolate chips. And you sprinkle those all over. Just in one, there we go. You sprinkle those all over the place. Can't go wrong so far, right? It's all good. Ta-da! Lay that aside. Then we have about a half a cup, maybe a little more, um, of chopped walnuts. Now, Paula Dean did chopped pecans. You could do almonds, you could do pistachios. Whatever's your favorite or whatever you have on hand, you go right ahead and use. And if you don't like nuts, you can leave them out. It's all good. But then they'd be four layer bars, which is still good. Okie dokie. Then we have uh, a half a cup coconut. And again, if you don't like coconut, you can leave, leave it out. But if you do like nuts and you don't like coconut, you could do maybe two different kinds of nuts. Might be nice. Maybe walnuts and some slivered almonds, that type of thing. I know my sister-in-law doesn't like coconuts, so she may do it with two kinds of nuts. Or maybe even peanut butter chips and butterscotch and chocolate and the nuts. Oh my goodness gracious. It's all good. Now, this is one can of sweetened condensed milk. It's not the tin milk that I've used in other uh, videos, but it's sweetened condensed milk. You have to pour it very slowly because you don't want to lump in the middle. You want to pour it evenly over the dish. And it doesn't pour very fast anyway. So we're just going to 
do like ribbons. And we're going to go back and forth this way because you want to get it everywhere. And as this bakes in the oven, of course, this will all melt together and get ooey gooey. And even though this is so not diabetic friendly, I'm really looking forward to it. Everyone needs a treat sometimes. But remember, we're not going to cut it into big squares because it is really decadent. Okay. I think that's pretty much all of that tin. And I think I have it pretty much all covered. And that's it. Now we're going to put it in the oven for a half an hour at 350. And when it comes out, we're going to put it on a rack and let it completely cool. Because if you try to cut it before it's completely cool, it's just going to be a mess. It has to be completely cooled and probably even chilled for a half an hour or so in the fridge. So I'll meet you back here in maybe an hour. Take care. Hi everybody, it's Penny back again. So our squares are ready and as you can see they're nice and golden brown. They're still a little tiny bit warm so they're a little hard to cut but they look delicious. There you are. Have a great weekend. Bye, enjoy.